two thirds of all my sessions, I shoot anywhere from 70 to 90 high school seniors a year. Two thirds of those are studio, mostly, mostly studio. Some are half and half. Very few of mine are actually just always on location. All right, here I am. I'm at my friend Pat Luke's photo studio and he's gonna give us a tour. Uh, he's a studio photographer and I am not. So I think you will really enjoy both this tour of his full studio and also this quick interview we're doing about how he's become so successful over the years. All right, and here we go. <laughs> oh my God, Hi. Heather, you surprised me. Hi, Pat. <laughs> Come on Thanks. in. Thanks for having me. So this is, this is my studio and this is, uh, I moved in here in April of 2010. 2000, yeah, 2010. Um, it's about a 2,000 square foot studio. Right when you walk in, we've got the waiting area here for my customers and a slideshow and a big screen TV. My office is right here. I've got a big custom built workstation there, which I do my packaging and storage and things like that. Laptop and workstation, computer workstation are in there. Uh, and that's where it's a really small confined area, but that's where all the magic kind of happens after the scene. What you're standing in right now is my first camera room. And I've got three different sets built in here. It's a very efficient use of space. I've got four different levels of background between the, the tile on the wall and background paper and muslin so I can pull in and out. This corner, we call it the white corner. Some kids call it the chandelier corner, so I've got a chandelier in there. So you move from there, move over eight feet, we've got a completely new look. And then just further down, we've got our, our barnwood corner, which was real barnwood. A friend tore a barn down and I got access to all the wood. So I've got three different, really completely different looks just in this one area right here. Uh, I've got a dressing room right here for the students, especially when my high school seniors are changing clothes five, six, seven times. A nice uh, Hollywood vintage uh, themed dressing room for them to change into. Uh, and and uh, so there's a, there's a nice view of that. With a nice little subtle marketing right there. Sublime. Yeah, love it. All right. So that's our dress room, and again, we do a lot of our work in this first camera room. After the session, when people come back to actually take a look at the pictures, uh, we have our theater room here, and I do projection on the wall, and I have samples of all the work that I show, from composite prints to wall art to albums and everything in between. So you, you can't sell something if you don't show it. So if you're going into products for the first time, show your products. And if you want to sell the big products, show the big products. Which you can sell a 30 by 40 print by showing an 8 by 10 print. So how big is that screen? That's a 7 foot wide screen. It's nothing fancy, it's actually just the wall. This is just drywall and it's painted with white ceiling paint which is flat. And I just put molding around the, it's just baseboard molding. Put that around the outside and painted the outside of the wall. So it's nothing spectacular. Cheap and easy but it Cheap gives people easy. an idea of how that looks yeah, on the inner Because now house. they're looking at something this big. They're, it's hard to buy a 4 by 6 when you see something that big on mm -hmm. the wall. So that's, it's kind of... Um, leading them towards what I want them to do. What product, real quick, is your top seller? Canvas, metal, My top seller is actually, actually, believe it or not, my top seller is this little memory book. And it's a five inch square album with 10 images in it. The reason it is because it can go mom and, mom's purse. She can take it with her and show everywhere. And so my logo and everything is always on this. So she can show people. That's by far the most popular product wow. because it's mobile. Cool. She can take it with you. And then my higher price packages have uh, phone apps which are digital on a phone, and that's that's become very popular too. Right. Cool. All right. All right. Watch your step walking out. There's a step down right there. Mm -hmm. So this was the original part of the studio when I first moved in. Two years after I moved in, I got access to this closet, which was um, a closet for the, for the building. Now it's basically a hallway between my two camera rooms. And I've got storage and, and light stands and props and things like that through here. And then we walk through. Now we broke through this brick wall six years ago to expand into this part of the studio. And this part of the studio we call the oh wow room. Because when anybody walks wow. through there, they go, oh wow. I want to live in this room. <laughs> yes. And if my wife throws me out of my house, I'm living here. Uh, this is my daylight studio. We call it daylight for obvious reasons. So we've got this eight foot tall windows, the whole length of the wall. And it provides really nice natural light all of the time. Uh, unless it's really dark and dingy, but I still can shoot very, very well. The room is 40 feet long. We have two highlight walls at the at both ends. Uh, we've got the gray wall, which you just saw. I've got samples of some pictures, and the, the brick wall at the far end. This is an old industrial building. That was an exterior wall at one point, so it's weathered and it's beaten up, and it's really popular. Uh, a lot of the high school seniors that I photograph really love that wall. Uh, and I do business portraits against everything there. So 
and I've got background racks. I've got a rack that swings out from the wall, and I've got a pulley system here where I can move it up and down in, in backgrounds. Uh, I try to change things up as much as I possibly can every session, so I'm not doing the same thing over and over and over again. So it's sometimes I might use a background twice in a day and not again for two weeks, uh, just to make it fresh and, and unique. Uh, but this it's about 2,300 square feet. It's a big studio compared to, to a lot of people just working out of their home. Uh, but it has set me apart from a lot of other people, and I happen to love working in the studio. I've got lights. Ever, I've got lights up the wazoo, and as you, you name it, I've got it here. It's the style of photography I love doing, and it's different. So now I'm different, and people notice you because you're different. And flexible too. And flexible too. So yeah. I mean, I work outside. We've got the Erie Canal, the historic Erie Canal, 25 feet past the building. The outside here. You can see it right there. There's the, the canal that's a, a, a boat, boating way. Uh, it's a walkway. The thousands of people walk through this on the weekends. So it's, I've got access to that. I have access to But the to nice it. thing about that, real quick, is that you, it's not like you get walk ins. You're, no, you're I typically do not. I'm all word of mouth and it's all by appointment only. I do not, I, I prefer not to have walk ins because I like to be prepared when people are here. Mm -hmm. um, so it's appointment based only. But uh, the variety of where I am, it's a nice quaint village. I have permission for property owners to work on their property. 30 second walk that way, I'm at a wetlands with a boardwalk. Two minutes the other way, I'm at an old industrial park. So I have a lot of different environments to shoot in within a mile of the studio. And that makes it more valuable because I can do almost anything there. And what percentage is studio work though? Probably quite a lot. Still, It's still quite a bit. Yeah, I'm gonna say probably two thirds of all my sessions, I shoot anywhere from 70 to 90 high school seniors a year Two thirds of those are studio, mostly, mostly studio. Some are half and half. Very few of mine are actually just always on location. But I have, you know, four or five, six of those every year, always on location. But they come to me because I want to take advantage of the studio. But I have the flexibility to do both. Yeah, and which, that's what makes me more valuable because I can do a little bit of everything. Yeah, that's amazing. Cool. Yeah. Thanks so much for the tour, and for we're by. gonna follow this up with a full interview with Pat and ins and outs of his business and how he markets and how he prices and the whole nine yards. So stick around.